Hey guys, it's Mr. Smiley here from Terps Win B1G, and I'm bringing you a Town Hall 9 stoned baby attack. Um, so I showed this attack against uh, pretty lousy bases last week in a video, um, but I, I got the chance. Uh, we got a really sweet random matchup with Crystal Warrior. Uh, ended up losing by two stars, but it was a really, really good close war, uh, competitive war, and I got the opportunity to use this attack on two of their bases. And if if you can uh, three star, uh, you know, Town Hall nines uh, from a from a clan like Crystal Warrior, you can probably do it against uh, most of the the bases that you're going to find across in random matches. Uh, so this one, uh, like the name says, it's a stoned entry, so it has uh, the three golem here. And if you want to use any performance enhancers in order to fully simulate the name, that's up to you. Uh, so three golems right there. And then the baby part is going to be uh, the nine baby dragons right here. In these two attacks, I did not need wall breakers. So I brought ten whistles to help with the uh, CC kill and help spread the nice wide funnel on the base. Um, if you do need to have four wall breakers then uh, drop two of the wizards. So uh, here's the base and what you're looking for in a target for this attack. Uh, I mean, it's, it's, it's fairly obvious that what you're looking for is clustered air defenses. Whoa, uh, looks like my Telestrator has, has gotten into the uh, stone, stoned mood here too. Let's pick a different color here just to make sure. All right, so what you're looking for is air defenses that are going to be clustered. You have a huge kill squad here with the three, uh, three golems, the uh, clan castle full of bowlers, your heroes. You're going to use all of your spells, at least in option A. You're going to use all of them on, uh, on the kill squad. So you have two jumps to try to get your kill squad deep into that base and take out the air defenses. Here you can see the jumps will go right here. You're going to rage the bowlers once they get inside the base, and then you're going to heal the bowlers and the golem as they get into the base and start uh, jumping on top of those, those giant bombs. Um, so they need to travel all the way through the base and get to that queen. Maybe a little bit too far there. Um, and kill the queen also. Uh, so I, you know, I didn't invent this strategy. The first that I had seen it was last week uh, by the Ninja Muffins uh, in their first attack of our war against them. Um, they used this strategy and they used what, what I'll call Plan B, which is if you can get those four air defenses right here, but that queen is just way too far, then uh, Plan B is going to be to cluster your, your baby dragons, maybe bring a rage for that also. Um, to just make the dragon, the baby dragons go right in and kill that queen, at, and then they'll fan out and spread out and uh, start taking out the base. But option A, if you can get that queen like we can here, option A is going to be to start using the baby dragons on the side as those air defenses go down, and that way they start making the external funnel, and then once you, you've locked onto that queen, then you can start dropping uh, baby dragons all around the back end. So it's kind of like back end loons, except baby dragons are quicker, they do more damage, they also will take out, um, they'll take out the trash buildings, they'll take out air skeletons, uh, they'll take out uh, defenses, and uh, you know they, they can take out the air defenses sometimes if you have enough of them because they are that quick, um, and they will not cluster um, so that time is not an issue with these attacks. And it, as you can see here, this one took me about two minutes, and then the second attack, I think, was almost a minute. Uh, so let's go ahead and let's watch this attack, and I'll just give some thoughts while we're, while we're looking at this. Uh, so you wanna, uh, there, I indicated the wrong entry, but uh, here you wanna spread your golem wide. You wanna make sure you have enough whistles there to clear out an entire side of the base so that the bowlers are not going to go anywhere. Uh, you should check out One Hive Genesis's bowler funneling strategy, and you can see why the Wizzles removing that that wizard tower and that. Uh, here, I'll just go ahead and stop it. Um, 
So for, for the bowler funneling, you really want to be patient on the entry. And this is true for Stoned Hobo and uh, lots of other bowler attacks. But you want to get that, not only that first row of trash uh, like you would with a Valkyrie attack or, or other attack, but for to funnel the bowlers properly, you really want to get that second row also. So that's why I was being very patient with that and waiting until those go down before sending in the bowlers or at least until the whistles start targeting them and then you can send in the bowlers and not have to worry about them going outside the base. So jumps are great for bowlers. They cluster the bowlers together and so with them clustered there you can maximize the rage. Uh, there is a hound in the clan castle but I was patient there and these are both fresh hits also. Um, and and uh, got all of the, the pups uh, there are going to be, uh, you know, the wi the wizards and the, the archer queen are going to shoot down uh, some of the pups, uh, help the poison. If they do get out to the baby dragons, that's another advantage of baby dragons over backhand loons, is that the baby dragons will kill the pups. There you can see uh, the golem and a bowler survive and take out that last air defense, take out the queen, and then the, uh, the baby dragons are just going to go to work. And a... Uh, uh, yeah, I mean, baby dragons, when they're raged, they, they will do a ton of damage, as you can see there. Once they, they start, you know, you fan them out to make sure they're all separate, you know, uh, far enough from each other that they're going to rage. And then at the end here, even though they're, they lose the rage, there are enough of them that they can just start destroying defenses. So you can see one's going to tank for the others. Uh, we still have four left at the end of this raid. And uh, they're going to take out the, the town hall and then take out that last archer defense, uh, archer tower defense. And, uh, you know, nice three star here. Uh, felt pretty good to get uh, get a, a nice six pack against a, a really, uh, really solid clan. Uh, let's see. So that was the, the first uh, stoned baby. And then here we have the second one. Let's go ahead and, uh, and pause it. And this, again, uh, you know, there, there are a couple different places that you can look to enter in here, enter the base. Uh, again, um, on the outside defenses, you want to be really careful. As you can see here, I'm dropping the golems here and here because I know that they will go to these outside defenses. The way that this is set up is that you do have the wizard tower here and you have the cannon here. And so you'd speculate that, you know, these are set up to be maybe anti-HGHV bases where uh, there might be some Tesla pops around here. And so the goal is uh, not only do I have the, the 10 whistles here, so five wizards on e each side here, but then I'm also going to immediately drop a baby dragon to help with the funnel and make sure that I take out the not only the external defenses, but I want to take out these two defenses here so that I can prevent the bowlers from going around. Then I'm gonna pop a jump here and a jump here. And as you can see, that's gonna take me all the way through the base and get these four air defenses, no problem. And then this queen, if you look at her range, she will pop out to about here. So I felt pretty comfortable that my kill squad could, uh, could get her. But again, plan B is to save that, uh, to just kind of send the dragons all kind of clumped so that they take out that uh, archer queen if I'm not able to get her. So I do have the time to make that audible. Um, if you know that you're not going to be able to get to the queen, but you can take out the four air defenses. So if instead of the way it's set up now, you had, you know, if you split it in half and you have the four air defenses over here, then I would probably just drop the heel and then use a second rage for the baby dragons for the archer queen kill. Um, but again, I did not need that for these bases, so let's go ahead and let's watch this attack. And so, trying to be very, very patient here with the uh, with the funnel set. I think half of the raid might have been settling that initial funnel. Uh, you're going to you're going to really rough up your golems there, but that's their job. And as you can see here, I just was a little bit too late in killing that wizard tower over there. And so one of my golems and a bunch of my whistles do go for a ride on the outside, but it ends up working out pretty well that 
not only do I have the golem there, but I have three three whistles there to help uh, essentially create an external funnel and just help you know with my uh, my primary ob ob uh, objective of pushing my kill squad through the base here. So you can see there, I'm going to start dropping baby dragons there. You know, you might as well drop them on the uh, corner builder huts, and then they can fly in and just you know uh, spread out and take out the trash around the back of the building. There you can see I have a huge mess of bowlers and whistles and still have my heroes up and I'm 80% through the base before my king dies. Queen's still at max health. And uh, yeah, so just a ton of troops left over. And again, this is, uh, I think, uh, almost all of their, their Town Hall 9s at 30-30 heroes. So the, the bases weren't max. Uh, but they, they were pretty close, pretty tough bases, uh, and again, a uh, really tough clan. Um, so have some fun with this. Uh, play around with it in your friendly challenges. Try to push the limits of how far you can take your kill squad. I think you'll be surprised that this works pretty well on, uh, on a lot of bases. Unless you have the air defenses just super, super spread out, you can get all four air defenses on a lot more bases than you would initially think, especially the higher your heroes get. So hopefully you enjoyed it, and uh, let me know in the comments uh, you know, whether this strategy is working for you. All right, until next time, let's go Terps.